Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on starting your workout journey. And I've gotten a couple questions on like, how do I get started? What did you do to start? So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you take anything away from this video. So I guess without further ado, let's just get right on into this video. The first step, at least for me, is have motivation. You have to have something maybe coming up or just want a change in your lifestyle. Having motivation is so important because you need to have something to get you up off of your butt during the day and just get into a workout, whether it be like you have anger issues, you're upset, um, you have a wedding coming up, you wanna look good in a bikini for summer, some thing to get you up. You have to have an impetus to push you. The second tip I have for you is start slow. So find a YouTuber. Blogilates is a great person to follow if you're starting out beginner because I don't find her workouts to be that hard. I've done them in the past. I've done a couple of them and they just don't seem that hard or challenging. That's just my opinion, but find someone that you can do their workouts and not feel like you're dying. Okay, that's a lot better. Sorry. I use natural lighting. Okay, start slow, find someone who has workouts that are kind of easy. I'm not trying to put anyone down, I'm just saying, find a workout that suits you the best. So try different workouts, um, just test the water, you know? If you wanna start with Chloe Ting, she always has low impact versions, so take burpees for example. You're like doing the burpee, just don't jump. Just like stretch up and then go down into the squat and then do the plank and then squat and then just stand up. You don't have to do the jump. For push-ups, go on your knees. You don't have to do the full push-up. Just do the low impact version. And then if that's too hard for you, again, find an easier option for you. The next tip I have for you is do the workout for half of the time that the timer is set for and then rest. So for example, take a 30 second exercise, right? Um, do the exercise for 15 seconds and then for the next 15 seconds do the workout but just do it either modify it or just rest. It's okay to rest and just take the time that you need for your body like get water, um, rest, just walk around. I find that walking around at least you're still moving your body but you're not just like sitting down so your muscles aren't getting all cold and everything. So just do that if you really need to. If you wanna do Chloe Ting or I heard Mad Fit is really challenging, which I kinda of wanna try just because, but um, I, love, I love Chloe Ting. And another tip I wrote down is after the sets, pause the video and walk around. So like I was saying, walk around, but there are these sets. So once you complete set one, Pause the video and just walk around, drink your water, wipe off your sweat, whatever. Um, don't feel like you have to do the whole video all at once. So just take the breaks that you need because that's the beauty of a video. Like you can pause it. It's not like a live class or anything. I also wanted to add in this video, get some cute new workout clothes. Whenever you have like a new pair of leggings or sports bra, it always helps to get you motivated because you feel good, you look good. Get some cute clothes. Get some, get a new mat. My mat's like super old. Um, just get some new equipment and stuff and then you'll be motivated and you spent all this money so you'll want to use it. Kind of like my Chloe Ting resistance bands that I kind of showed you guys in a previous video. But I want to use them so I'm going to do the workout. So that's also something that kind of helps. Also having a workout buddy or community like the Chloe Ting challenge hashtag on Instagram. I always see all the girls and guys actually that do workouts and stuff and use that hashtag and I'm like, okay, that motivates me. So I wanna see it on social media. I'm like, oh yeah, that's great. So I need to do my workout today. Have a friend, maybe your mom, your dad, uncle, aunt, grandma, grandpa, that like they'll do the workouts with you. Maybe not all of them. Like my mom only does the arm workout with me when I do like the toned arm workout. She does it with me, but overall, um, have someone to kind of keep you accountable. You guys actually keep me accountable for my actions and working out and everything. So I highly recommend find something like log it, like write it in your phone or your iPad or just anything like that. Um, write it down, film yourself so you can post it on your Instagram or YouTube. Have a workout buddy. So like, hey girl, did you do your workout today? 
yeah, I did mine. Which ones did you do? Have that community. Because when you get that community and you get that positivity, like all of you very, very sweet people on the internet that comment saying that I've inspired you or I keep you accountable for working out, nothing can ever take that away from you. And I feel like if you have that community and that connection with somebody, it doesn't matter who it is, um, then it really help you and motivate you to get you started and go on your journey. So I know this video was kind of short. I don't have that many tips for getting started, but really just what I want you to take from this video is just ease in. Don't make yourself crazy about working out. Maybe just work out once a week and then maybe up it to two times a week. Um, doing some of the tips that I said previously, like taking more breaks, um, just going half of the time that the exercise is scheduled for, um, just really ease into it, have a great community, um, just be there for one another. So with that being said, I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope this helped you in some way. I know it's hard to give tips on like how to get started working out because I'm not in your shoes. I don't know what your life is like, what your diet is like, where you live, um, if you like to go to the gym or not. So I hope this video was a little helpful. So I think that's about it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.